Oh, that was a close call, man. We gotta get the main down. Show them what happened. Yeah, that ain't good. guys this one is special it sits a little closer to home for us so make sure you stay to the end on this one i promise it's worth it we of course had a blast with our rad guests trish and jay and between monkeying around locally and doing the planes trains automobiles tour we have been able to experience quite a bit with them in their two weeks with us but it was time to say adieu and so we kicked them off paid the marina bill and ditched the dock Bye-bye, Evelias. Bye-bye, Evelias. Great time. Thank you. Yeah, very quick Safe voyages. Oh, my gosh. On the high seas. All right. See ya. Toodaloo. Toodaloo, kangaroo. Toodaloo, kangaroo. Bye-bye, butterfly. Bye-bye, butterfly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. Good time. Are they going to come help us with the dock line? I hope so. Let's find out. Right. Hosting isn't particularly hard or stressful, really. But every time guests leave, all we can bring ourselves to do for a few days is binge out and recover from a much heightened level of excitement, and generally just get back to life as normal aboard our boat. Let the relaxing begin. <laughs> and this spot, anchored right off the town center, is actually quite a nice spot to do just that and even offers plenty of nature watching, including daily dolphin shows by a local pod that calls this bay home. Gorgeous morning, the water is glass, it's beautiful. There's a little dolphin jumping around over here, and the birds in the morning. Mm. Okay, I am on a mission today. Uh, we just had our guests leave a couple days ago and we usually just kind of relax after that happens because it's just a lot of energy. But I have to do laundry so I have to go to shore and drop that off. Luckily there's just a drop off service which makes everything easy. But I have to hop in the dinghy, head into the marina, drop off the laundry. I'm also going to go sit in a cafe today and try and upload some videos. Um, drop off the trash. What else do I have to do? Oh. Uh, we have a dock line that I need to pick up. God, you have a lot today. I know, so I'm on a mission and I'm gonna do it all by myself. Good luck. Thanks. <laughs> That's a lot of laundry, a lot of sheets. Okay. Yeah, we realize it may not seem like it most of the time, but realistically, this is normal life aboard. It's laundry and shopping and hunting for usable Wi Fi and mostly very similar to back home, really. Goodbye, baby. Bye, honey. Have a great day. Just with a floating home and a spectacular view and heightened connection with our natural surroundings. Roger, guys. It sounds really good. We will see you at Falsa later this afternoon. Have fun. Yeah, see you later, bud. We really do kind of have all the time. Discover all of them. Hi there. <laughs> so, what's the plan? We're going to go to Falsa instead of Alondra? We're picking up the anchor. We're going to go up north and get out of the city area. Spend a couple days in a couple different bays. A couple cool. days in a couple different bays. Cool. Yep, explore, explore, explore. I think I just heard some dolphins. Oh, they're all around. Hold on, wait for it, wait for it. Oh yeah, way out there. Understandably, after several weeks of high pace activities, we were very eager to get back out and away from town and back to the simplicity of a simpler way of life. Spend a few days out there and then probably come back to La Paz at some point, obviously, to refuel, ref vision. We don't need that. I'm going to do this all over. I don't care. Okay. <laughs> Okie dokie. We are off. 
We just spent uh, about a week here in La Paz, got everything done that we needed to get done, laundry, reprovisioning, internet, to upload some videos, but we are off now. Uh, we're gonna head out of the channel and up to a couple of the islands and spend a day or two. Damn it, I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like word vomiting. You are. Okay, anyways, we're off. Uh, we're gonna lift the anchor here in just a little bit. We've just spent uh, about a week here in La Paz doing laundry, getting internet, reprovisioning. But now we are gonna go up to a couple of the islands and anchor out and enjoy our time out there. So it's been fun and we'll be back. Hey babe, you ready? I'm gonna lift the anchor. Do it. He's still mopping the deck. He's such a Go Such a ready. good squabby. Okay. into the city or in the town and get all things that we need to get done but and it's even better to leave yeah definitely <laughs> <laughs> good to be a little disconnected and just be able to jump in the water yeah. not that it isn't nice here but i want clear water yeah so yeah. let's go adventure Time see what we adventure. can find out there already all the way out there oh out there excellent good idea <laughs> good idea if there was a drawback to this roadstead it would be that it's a little tough to get out of. Not from a safety thing or a difficult navigation per se, but it's a long, long channel that often has currents up to three or even four knots. And if timed poorly, can really be a bear to deal with and certainly slow down an already long passage out. Or in. All right, well now that we're out of the channel, we can sail, we got the sails up. And I'm about to turn off the motors here in a minute. Getting out of this channel was kind of a pain in the butt. We were just going right into the wind, but now we can sail up to the anchorage that we're going to. We're gonna have to tack because we're basically going right into the wind. We're gonna have to tack a bunch, but at least we can sail. Yep, we were able to turn off the motors. The winds are low and we're going slow, but I don't care when the motor's off. So it should take a couple hours to get up to this little bay. And then we get in the water and start cleaning the bottom because I know it's not pretty. Close call, man. We gotta get the main down. Show them what happened. Yeah, that ain't good. How lucky is that? I cannot believe it held on, oh to be honest God. with you. It bent the shackle. I gotta get another one. Okay, that's okay. Do we have it. another one? Oh, yeah. Okay, good. I cannot believe that held on. Yeah, that was a little sketchy. I mean, we were sailing. It's a good thing that we don't have heavy, heavy winds right now, but um, yeah, that could have been bad. If we had heavy winds, I would have pulled apart. Yeah. Okay, well, uh, what do you want me to do, babe? I hope the wind doesn't start blowing on us. What do you, what? Oops, you have to be able to get this in. Wow, that was a good catch. Right. Look at that, it bent it a lot. Like it bent it a lot, I don't even know if it's usable. Really? Wow. Wow! Man, I'm glad I saw that. Seriously. So why wouldn't you put like a pin on that? Like 
I should. The I should. I will. I will now. And I'm gonna check all of these everywhere. Absolutely very lucky. I am so glad that I caught that. That boom would have gone absolutely nuts had that thing released completely. Oh. Well, that was lucky. But the sail's up and we actually have pretty nice winds and I think right about now is the time that we would have arrived to the anchorage had we decided to just motor. And it looks like we have about another couple hours of tacking back and forth to get up to this anchorage. I tell you what, you guys, we are committed to not using fuel this cruising season. I mean, we're becoming better sailors and <laughs> using less fuel, that is for sure. Right, honey? Yes, but we're going to work on some frustration <laughs> first, because we know how you all like the uh, speed. Yeah, I do. And of course I like the speed. Being patient and getting to one place. Well, that's definitely part of my training, is learning patience. Yes. It can be painful, though. It is. I will tell you, it's painful. <laughs> it is. It could be painful for the viewers, too. Uh, mostly for me. And mostly for you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, you're the one that's really getting hurt. But I've seen some progress. Thank you. I am getting better. I think so. Yeah. I can be cool. <laughs> <laughs> be cool, man. Yeah. Just be cool. Yeah, I'll just relax a little bit. Well, we did it. Yeah. We've come a long way. We've, we've sailed for four hours to make it three miles. So I think it's okay if we mowed it for the last half a mile. That's my opinion. Plus, I would like a hot shower. <laughs> yeah. Um, I never thought I would be wearing these. But we are wearing our warm sweaters. It's pretty chilly. It's an overcast day. Um, so I'm looking forward to a really hot shower. Well, we made it by motoring. We made it by sailing. Ooh. We made it by sailing. We are motoring now because we're in the anchorage, but we did it and it was like three miles maybe. And it took us all day, four hours to go three miles because we had to tack back and forth up and bunch. But you guys, we're committed. We're gonna do this. We're gonna just sail. Yes, babe. Man, it's, it's a lot of work. What are you talking about? Well, it was a great sail. No, it was really nice. But it's pretty little anchorage. You read all day. Oh, yeah, okay. it was nice. Bye-bye. Look at all those dive bombing birds. Oh my god. It's a lot. I'm gonna get up. Maybe because we grew up in a small mountain town in the shadow of Rocky Mountain National Park, we would definitely consider ourselves full-blown nature lovers. Despite that, I personally would have never called myself much of a bird person, and may even have a healthy fear of pigeons, but lately find myself with a newfound respect and admiration for the fowl we find ourselves surrounded by in it's Mexico. Wild because they'll like die. I mean, they're amazing. They'll come back up and they'll circle around. The pelicans alone are fantastic to watch and can captivate us for hours, honestly, and sometimes do. The amount of footage I've had to go through is alarming. I'm only giving you a hard time. Like every single day you give me oh, a hard time. Oh, that's your role, not mine. Excuse me. You're on camera now. <laughs> I don't act any different on camera. Yes, you do. That is a lie. Anyways, good morning. <laughs> We are actually lifting anchor and heading off to Espiritu Santo. We never get to hang out in this bay. We've done this twice now. I know, we it's true. We were playing on swimming and then the conditions were perfect for leaving. <laughs> right, right. Um, anyways, Belandro is a very beautiful little bay. Everyone typically goes here. It's not far from La Paz. But in the winter time, typically the weather is consistent, consistently winds from the north. And today we have some winds coming from the south. So we're going to take this opportunity, since it's so rare, to sail it up to the islands up north. Um, 
because we have so much time here this winter that we want to explore as much as we can around here and not just stick around in La Paz. So uh, we're going to hoist the sails and downwind it to uh, Spiritu Santo and hang out there for a couple days, a week, who knows, until the food runs out. <laughs> or the booze. <laughs> happening I thought it rained one day a year in Mexico and that's especially supposed to be here in the summer. it's this is crazy I cannot believe it's actually raining what? <laughs> this is nuts I didn't think we were gonna have rain while we were here at all it's been months since we've seen rain I don't remember any rain The rain was as welcome as it was a surprise, and it continued on and off for nearly 24 hours. As rainstorms so often do, it created a welcome moment for reflection, and as it started to ease and clear the next morning, with the sun hinting at peeking out, I was awestruck by the surroundings and the beauty that was being revealed. Our truth is that during these strange times of COVID, we are being pushed further from humanity and find ourselves withdrawing in a sense, gravitating towards seclusion and distancing. And in a way, that's sad, no doubt. 
but any subsequent void seems to be instantly filled by the magnificence of nature. And we are becoming acutely aware of our heightened senses, our deepening appreciation, and overall love for the natural world around us. And rewardingly, over the next few days, we were amazed that the more we listened, the louder it got. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Really hope you enjoyed this one. Special thanks to our patrons. You guys are awesome. You know who you are.